And then when things get a little bit more emotional, she tends to speed up and then her voice gets shaky. Hey, it's Lady Tina Leader. As a public speaking coach, I wanted to look into Britney Spears' court statement. The audio was released about a week ago. You can tell in just the audio so many things. Let's just listen to the beginning real quickly because I want you to hear this. I'll recap. I was on tour in 2018, I was forced to do. My management said if I don't do this tour, I will have to find oh, an attorney. Mr. Spears, um, I, just, I hate to interrupt you, but my court reporter is taking down what you're saying. Okay. And so you have to speak a little more slowly. Uh, so right in the beginning, she was talking really fast once she got into her statement. She's trying to make sure she gets everything that you're saying. Okay, cool. And so if you can so okay. Even though the judge stopped her once again, she just couldn't help herself but speed talk. I have trapped phobias being in small rooms because the trauma locking me up in, for four months in that place is not okay for them to send me. Sorry, I'm going fast. So sometimes speed talking is just cultural or if you talk faster than even amongst your social group or even amongst your peer group, even amongst people that you grew up with, then it could be a trauma response where you were ignored as a child. So for some people, speed talking was as a way in order to get in as many words as possible before you're cut off. That's why when I say when somebody is feeling very comfortable, they're also feeling comfortable slowing down. Even after she was stopped the second time, she couldn't help but speed talk. That was when she was talking about how she was severely abused and traumatized by her previous therapist. Um. I have been through, and the clever stuff in Westlake is identical to Dr. Benson, who died, the one who illegally, yes, 100% abused me by the treatment he gave me. And to be totally honest with you, when he passed away, I got on my knees and thank God. It's that fear of not being heard. She speaks right through that. But I do want to point out that what's considered slow or fast is dependent upon the average of the social dynamic that you're in. Throughout this whole entire statement, Britney Spears' voice gets really shaky, yet even through the shakiness, she's able to do hard, powerful statements. She's slowing down when she really means something, and she ends on a downtone. I can work and provide money and work for myself and pay other people. I talk about downtones a lot when it comes to leadership style of speaking, but it really is a dominant style of speaking. I am Tina Leader versus I am Tina Leader. And it's not that she does downtones the whole time, she does a lot of uptones, especially when she's talking to the judge, which is also a rapport building tonality. Oh, oh of okay. course, yes. That being said, when she's making strong statements, she slows down and then she does a downtone. I don't like it. I don't wanna do that. And you can hear the conviction of it. And then when things get a little bit more emotional, so uncomfortable for her, especially saying this in a public setting, especially in a court hearing, she tends to speed up and then her voice gets shaky. For threatening me and saying, if I don't go and do these meetings twice a week, we, can, we can't let you have your money and go to Maui on your vacations. I noticed that Brittany says a lot of filler words. Usually when you say a lot of filler words, it's because you're very unsure. And it's not that she's unsure about what she's saying, she's unsure how people will perceive it, if people will believe it or not. It's this weird thing because you can be so sure about who you are, what your rights are, what your value is, but at the same time expressing that can be very extremely terrifying, especially when you were under abuse, especially when you're traumatized. So it's one thing to know that you deserve better and it's another thing to speak out. When people come to me and they say, you know what, I want to speak better and I don't want to sound like I'm nervous, I get shaky voice. People hear authenticity and people remember your conviction. So even if it's shaky in the beginning or somewhere in between or you got a little nervous, if somewhere in there, you are so convicted by certain statements, you can't help but listen to that person in their conviction. Because yes, she's stumbling. Yes, she's nervous. But if anybody listens to this audio, you 100% believe in what she's saying. I think it was in the charisma myth, but the sure sign to tell if somebody is not lying, and of course, now you have to be careful because this is out there. But for example, if I asked you, hey, did you steal the cookie from the cookie jar? And you said no. And I said, 
why should I believe you? A person who is lying might say, well, because I don't steal cookies from the cookie jar. Why would I steal a cookie from the cookie jar? But a person who typically isn't lying would respond as, because I'm telling you the truth. And that's it. They, they, they don't have the need to explain. You thought I was lying or something. I'm telling you again, because. I'm not lying. And when it comes to lie detection, verbally, tonality-wise, you have to hear her normal voice and how she normally speaks like and what her normal tonality and prosody is and how she paces herself, etc. There are little tell signs and tonality signs, and but she's saying it in a very convicted tonality. She also stutters quite a bit. And I know a lot of people who follow me on this channel, we talk about stuttering issues or mumbling issues. She does a lot of that. The anger and all of it that that um that's that's been happening Brittany is not new to public speaking so for her to break down in this way it's more so speaking to the trauma that she has been through and that could be due to the drugs like lithium and anything that's going to affect your neurology is going to affect your voice that's why i talk about verbal fluency in brain training because it does go back to your brain it goes back to your body if you think that your brain doesn't affect how you speak and how you're able to communicate you are wrong she used to be so much more eloquent so much more poised and the way she walks and talks and even presents herself in general and you can see that the drugs and the abuse and the trauma has done numbers on her and typically when people come in we always tie it back and we always have to talk about childhood trauma or something that's happened in their lives that was traumatic or some catastrophic event that happened that triggered some sort of eruption in their psyche and this is exactly what's happening to Britney is that she has had multiple eruptions over the last 13 years she has been under this conservatorship you can hear in her voice the trauma the abuse and that comes with the stuttering the mumbling the pausing oh wait oh let me repeat that but you can hear the real Britney coming out when she does these very powerful statements with her downtone slowing it down and you can hear her voice gets even deeper so it has a more dominant voice it was just hard to hear this whole entire clip it felt like an hour long just because it's so it's just that hard to hear it's not even about britney spears but nobody deserves this kind of treatment and it just goes to show especially california the beautiful state that i live in allow such things like this because i promise you if this is happening to britney spears it's also happening to hundreds if not thousands of people out there in the same exact system so that being said if you're interested in how to fix your voice when you're under pressure like a shaky voice here's a video right here or if you want to know how to speak like a leader like i talked about downtone you could click right here or check out the description down below i'll see you soon